We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Games with loot boxes will now come with a warning label. The ESRB and PEGI, which are self-regulatory bodies of the video game industry, have announced new warning labels for loot boxes. The warning label will come under the in-game purchases label and it will now include an additional content descriptor of either includes random items or paid random items. Overall, I think this is an important moment in the industry. This is a step in the right direction, but it certainly does not go far enough. And here's why. Research consistently finds that loot boxes and items like it are highly prevalent in most video games these days. And they're in a lot of games that are rated suitable for children. The items are also extremely profitable for the industry, which is why you're seeing them appear in more and more games. Research consistently finds that loot boxes are psychologically the same as gambling, and there are a lot of links to gambling, especially in the link between loot boxes and problem gambling severity. Research also consistently finds risks associated with social casino games, which are simulated gambling experiences, including migrating from virtual games to real world gambling, normalizing attitudes towards gambling, and increasing the harm associated with gambling and gaming. Now for the last point, I've already detailed a lot of that and the research in my video on GTA 5 and the new casino they added into their game. So you can find that link in the description below. But simply put, I do not believe that this new warning label adequately informs consumers on the risks associated with loot boxes and gambling. The ESRB's own testimony at the FTC last year stated their investigation found only 32% of parents even knew what a loot box was, and less than a third of that 32% could even accurately choose and select the right description of them. Further, most parents were more concerned about their children spending money than they were about the risks associated with gambling. And this data shows me that there's still so much more education that needs to occur for parents on the convergence between gaming and gambling and the potential harm that can be coming from it. The new label includes random items or paid random items does not accurately describe what's actually happening when kids or people are using these okay. sorts of items. A more clear label would be simulated gambling, which was proposed by the National Council on Problem Gambling or the NCPG. Take the warning label violent. It's very accurate in its description and that helps inform parents on the type of content their kids will be exposed to if they're playing that game. That provides them with an informed choice. If they're okay with their kids playing violent content, then you can buy that game. And if you're not, then you don't. Whereas the label includes random items doesn't really give parents any idea about what that actually involves. And I've seen that because just anecdotally, I asked parents in our community what they thought this new warning label meant, and it was fairly obvious that it was very unclear for them. There's a reason that gambling is not available for people underage, or it shouldn't be. And that's because the younger you start gambling, the more likely you are to develop a gambling problem in the future. That's why we must protect vulnerable populations, including people under the age of 18, whose brains are still being developed and who may not have the executive functioning to actually make good choices. Further, this new warning label does not impact age ratings within games, which means a game like NBA 2K could be still available for kids as young as three years old.
quite ethical and quite fun. And NBA 2K is just one of those games. There are many others like it. Now, when we're talking about like what we should actually do or what what more work remains to be done, the NCPG put out a great statement last year to the FTC detailing a number of different things that should be done to help protect consumers. First, loot boxes should come under a simulated gambling warning label or some sort of label associated with gambling. All games with loot boxes that meet prize, chance, and consideration should be age-gated for people over the age of 18 and they should be automatically rated M for mature. Games with loot boxes should be prohibited from marketing and targeting children. And there should be the creation of global lists for self-exclusion. Some of those exist in gambling, but those should also exist in video games. The technology is there, it wouldn't be hard to implement, and this needs to go beyond just parental controls. Most gamers are over the age of 18, so having parental controls doesn't really connect with people who are just trying to self-exclude themselves from being exposed to these sorts of mechanics in games. Companies should also be required to provide de-identified data to independent researchers to really dive in and understand more about the risks associated with these features. Currently, the industry likes to say that there isn't enough research to show that video game addiction is real or that loot boxes are harming users. But that's a very convenient talking point for them because they also refuse to open up their data to be researched to actually see if that is true or not. And so they should be legally required to provide that data for independent researchers to be able to identify more about what's actually happening with these features and whether or not harm is occurring. And these reports should be made public and reports should include the prevalence of addiction associated with loot boxes. Finally, youth specific addiction and prevention education should be made available and campaigns around the world should exist to help youth understand the risks associated with loot boxes and why they need to keep themselves safe. And ideally this happens in cooperation with the industry. As I shared, there are a number of other suggestions that the NCPG has made and you can read that statement in the description below. I really believe it encapsulates the full spectrum of things that are necessary to help prevent these issues in consumers and ultimately to keep games safe. Today's news is a small step forward, but so much more work remains to be done. But I do want to acknowledge so many people who have contributed to helping make this shift happen, including the great research by David Zendel and his teams and the gaming community itself, who very much have had a role to play in raising more awareness about this issue and pushing back against the industry for predatory monetization and predatory game mechanics. Keep rising up and making your voice be heard. It does make a difference. Gamers, rise up! Rise up! Personally, I'll continue to advocate for safer games and I'll continue to give a voice to people who struggle with addiction around the world to make sure that their voice is heard. If you're someone who has struggled with loot boxes or who has struggled with gambling in video games, please reach out. You can find contact in the description below. I have ways that we can raise more awareness about this issue and I would love for you to help me do that. But for today, let's celebrate that at least there's some small progress being made. I have been you know, on the front lines of this for since 2011, so like nine years now. And seeing at least this progress being made is like a finally, but as I said, so much more work remains to be done and I hope you'll join me in being able to raise more awareness about this issue and really help the industry make the changes they need to make. So I'll throw it back to you. What do you think about this new warning label? Do you think it goes far enough? Do you think it doesn't? What would you like to see the industry change? Share your comments in the comments below and I'll be in there interacting with all of you. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and share this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. But that's it for me today. I hope you're having a great day and stay safe during this crazy, crazy time. All right, peace.